watching. Um, today I would like to talk about the construction on the this is a very flexible construction which is used to make all kinds of more complex sentences. So if you want to make sentences that have a little more content to them, that are a little more specific, this structure is basically essential. There are many other structures that are also useful, but this one is used a lot. So the umpte construction can be used in two different ways that are somewhat similar. Uh, we'll talk about both of them. First of all, you can use omte after an adjective. Now, let me give you an example. Dat is goed om te weten. Dat is goed om te weten. That's good to know. Or another one. Dit artikel is interessant om te lezen. This article is interesting to read. Dit artikel is interessant om te lezen. Or, dat programma is gemakkelijk om te gebruiken. Dat programma is gemakkelijk om te gebruiken. That program is easy to use. As you can see, in each of these sentences, we always start with a form of the verb to be followed by an adjective, like is good to know, or is interesting to read, or is easy to use. So, always is good, is interesting, or is easy. Now after this construction, you can always use omte to make your sentences longer, or more detailed, or more elaborate. Let's look at another example. Het was leuk om te zien. Het was leuk om te zien. It was nice to see. It was good to see. Or fun. Now, what if I want to say, it was nice to see you? Where do we put this you in this sentence? Well, we say, het was leuk om je te zien. Het was leuk om je te zien. So as you can see, the je comes in between the om and the te. Het was leuk om je te zien. We can add more words between om and te. We can say, for example, Het was leuk om je weer te zien. Het was leuk om je weer te zien. It was nice to see you again. So now we have you and again in between om and te. A very important rule about the omte construction is that you always need to form a full, complete sentence before you can start using omte. So you need to be able to put a period after your sentence that you just said before you can start using omte. If you can't, it's it's not right. The sentence is wrong. So. You can't say, for example, Het was je leuk om te zien. To, to say, it was nice to see you. Because you can't say, Het was je leuk. That's not a complete sentence, it makes no sense. We can put a large number of things between om and te. As you may know, Dutch always puts the time first then the manner, and then the place. So that's slightly different from English. Um, you can put time, manner, and place, and all kinds of other things between om and te as well. So let's look at a sentence that has multiple things between om and te. For example, Ik vind het leuk om op zaterdag met mijn vrienden naar het café te gaan. That's a pretty long sentence, but if we analyze it, it's really quite simple. Ik vind het leuk is a full sentence. I think it's nice. I think it's fun. Ik vind het leuk. It's a full sentence, so we can start using om te. Now, if we want to put multiple elements between om and te, we have to order them correctly. Time, manner, and then place. So we have time, op zaterdag. 
we have manner, in this case it's with somebody, met men vrienden, and then the place, naar het café. So we have, ik vind het leuk, om, op zaterdag, met mijn vrienden, naar het café, te gaan. And then we finish with, te plus infinitive. So, ik vind het leuk om op zaterdag met mijn vrienden naar het café te gaan. I like going to the bar with my friends on Saturday. Another example. Ik vind het fijn om in de lente het hele huis te poetsen. I like cleaning the entire house in spring. Ik vind het fijn. I think it's nice. I say nice a lot, but many words translate to nice. Ik vind het fijn. Then we can start our om te construction. Ik vind het fijn om in de lente, time, het hele huis, what, te poetsen. Our te plus infinitive. Ik vind het fijn om in de lente het hele huis te poetsen. Another example. Het is niet goed om te vaak onder de zonnebank te gaan. It's not good to use a tanning bed too often. Het is niet goed is a full sentence, so then we can use om te. It's a sentence with an adjective. Het is niet goed om te vaak, time, onder de zonnebank, place, te gaan. Te plus infinitive, like before. So now you try. Can you still say, it was good to see you again? That was, het was leuk om je weer te zien. Now can you also translate, I like playing computer games. Computer games being computer spelen. Ik vind het leuk om computerspellen te spelen. In the previous examples, we always put om te after a simple adjective. But we can expand this a little. We can also, rather than simply saying far or tall or old, we can also say too far, too tall, or not old enough. In Dutch, to plus adjective is te plus adjective. So too old would be te out. Not enough in Dutch is niet genoeg. So not old enough would be niet out genoeg. That's pretty simple. If you speak English, it's almost the same. An example. Het is te ver om te lopen. It's too far to walk. Het is te ver, too far, that's a full sentence with an adjective, om te lopen, to walk. Or, het is niet ver genoeg om met de auto te gaan. Het is niet ver genoeg om met de auto te gaan. It's not far enough to take the car, to go by car. Or, ik ben te oud om dit spel te spelen. Ik ben te oud om dit spel te spelen. I'm too old to play this game. Or, hij is niet oud genoeg om met pensioen te gaan. Hij is niet oud genoeg, he's not old enough, om met pensioen te gaan. To retire. Met pensioen gaan is basically a phrase that means to retire. So we put the verb gaan after the te because it's the infinitive. And the met pensioen has to go between the om and the te. So, hij is niet oud genoeg om met pensioen te gaan. Basically, if I wanted to translate this word for word, it would be, he is not old enough to go with retirement. That's how you say it in Dutch. Now, let's practice. Um, I'll put a few words on screen and you have to make a sentence out of these. Pause the video and write down your sentences and when you're done 
resume the video to check your answers. So here are the answers. The first one, I would say, Deze trui is te oud om naar het feest te dragen. Deze trui is te oud om naar het feest te dragen. The sweater is too old to wear to the party. So it might sound a little funny to you to put om right next to a preposition, om naar het feest te dragen, but that's perfectly fine, perfectly acceptable. Second one, I would say, ik vind het moeilijk om brieven te schrijven. I think it's difficult to write letters. Ik vind het moeilijk om brieven te schrijven. For the third one I would say, haar man vindt het niet leuk om de afwas te doen. Her husband doesn't like doing the dishes. I mean, who does? Haar man vindt het niet leuk om de afwas te doen. So here you can see the structure of vinden. Ik vind het moeilijk, ik vind het leuk. You can also use that with om te. Great. Now let's look at a particular case uh, where what we saw is a little bit different. Uh, if you know what separable verbs are, this is going to be a lot easier for you. If not, it's probably best to look that up first. Now, let's take a separable verb like opstaan. Opstaan, to get up. Um, that, in the present tense, it is ik sta op. So it becomes two parts, ik sta op, rather than opstaan, which is one part. Um, if you use a separable verb in the omte construction, you have to separate the two parts. But it's not very hard, because all that happens is that t goes in between the two parts. So let's look at an example. It's much easier if we look at examples. Ik vind het moeilijk om vroeg op te staan. Ik vind het moeilijk om vroeg op te staan. I have difficulty getting up early. Um, so we have ik vind het moeilijk, which is a simple sentence with an adjective. So we can use om te. Om vroeg op te staan. And you can't say, you cannot say, ik vind het moeilijk om vroeg te opstaan. Because opstaan is a separable verb. And te of the om te construction goes in between the two parts. So, ik vind het moeilijk om vroeg op te staan. Let's look at another example. Deze kleren zijn te mooi om weg te gooien. Weggooien, to throw away, is another separable verb. Weggooien as an infinitive is one part, but it's ik gooi weg. Ik gooi de kleren weg. I throw away the clothes. So if you want to use weggooien in an om te construction, you have to put the te in between the two parts. Deze kleren zijn te mooi. These clothes are too nice, too pretty. Om weg te gooien, to throw away. Or another one, uitgaan. Uitgaan, to, to go out. Uh, is also a separable verb. Ik ga uit. So if you want to use that, you also have to separate the two parts and put te in between. Ze vindt het leuk om elk weekend uit te gaan. Ze vindt het leuk om elk weekend uit te gaan. She likes going out every weekend. Now you try. How would you translate it's too warm to put on a coat? It's too warm to put on a coat. To put on clothing is andun or antrekken. Both are fine and both are separable. And the answer is Het is te warm om een jas aan te doen. Het is te warm om een jas aan te doen. Or, het is te warm om een jas aan te trekken. It's too warm to put on a coat. Now, in all of the sentences we've seen so far, om te always followed an adjective. 
but this is not always the case. There is a second situation where we can also use umte, and it's used slightly differently. Well, the use is the same, but the meaning is slightly different. So all of the rules that we've seen so far still apply, no worries. But you can use umte as well to give reasons, so why you do something. Let's look at an example. Ik ga naar de markt om appels te kopen. Ik ga naar de markt om appels te kopen. Ik ga naar de markt is a complete sentence. I go to the market. Uh, to buy apples. Om appels te kopen. Again, we start om. And then we put all of our info. Appels, in this case. And then to end the sentence, we use te plus our action, our infinitive. Ik ga naar de markt om appels te kopen. So always form a complete sentence, also in this case, also when you give reasons with om te. Always make a complete sentence and then start your om te construction. Another example. Ik ga vroeg naar bed om smorgens veel energie te hebben. Ik ga vroeg naar bed, a full sentence. I go to bed early. Why? Om smorgens veel energie te hebben. To have a lot of energy in the morning. If only that were true. Another example. Hij drinkt drie kopjes koffie om wakker te worden. Hij drinkt drie kopjes koffie om wakker te worden. He drinks three cups of coffee. Full sentence. Why? Om wakker te worden. To wake up. Wakker worden. Again is a separable verb, so both elements go around t, or t comes in between the two, however you want to see it. Now you can also start your sentence with om t when giving reasons. So rather than saying ik ga naar de markt om appels te kopen, you can start with om. Om appels te kopen, ga ik naar de markt. In order to buy apples, I go to the market. Note that if you do this, the second half has the subject and the verb inverted. So they're switched around. So, om appels te kopen, ga ik naar de markt. We can do the same with our other example. Ik ga vroeg naar bed om smorgens veel energie te hebben. We can also say, om smorgens veel energie te hebben. Ga ik vroeg naar bed. Now to end this video, I have a little exercise for you. And you can write your sentences in the comments below. So, please respond to the following sentence. In Dutch, of course. What can you do to stay healthy? Healthy in Dutch is gezond. So, make your sentences below in the comments. And also let me know what other topics you'd like to see and what you think about this video. And there's another airplane. Anyway, that's a good time to wrap up this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.